Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Laura Wilkie with Down Home with Lemon Pie and it is Watch Us Homeschool Wednesday. And this week, um, unfortunately, we have had sickness in our home. We have been dealing with coughs and colds, congestion. It's just that time of year. We've had ear infections, just all the things. And sometimes mamas that is um, that is what is real life homeschool. Um, our homeschool lessons have come to a grinding halt and we have been working on getting everybody to feel better again. So um, that is where we're at. Can you believe though how much snow we had? Um, this was just kind of a one day thing, what you're seeing here. But um, we had a ton of snowfall and it was beautiful. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And then just as quickly, it started to melt away. So um, it is mostly all gone by now. As far as what this looks like, it does not look as beautiful as all that still. But um, I did want to share that with you guys as well. So let's talk sick days. How do you guys do sick days? Um, if only a couple kids are sick, do you cancel school for everybody? Do you just have the older kids or whoever's well do, do their lessons or what do you do? Um, for us, we did kind of a combination. Um, we did some things that my little ones, I could do school with them and let the bigger ones, they could read it on their own to catch up later. So that worked for some of our lessons. But um, after we had several that were all feeling ill at the same time, then we kind of just stopped everything. So we've got soups here on the stove, a couple different kinds. Um, go in to try to just focus on getting people back um, feeling better. Of course, your house falls apart, right? Um, when it is a sick day, everything is kind of put back on the back burner. So this is a real life homeschool video. So I am giving you a peek inside of that. Um, yeah, so we've been trying out different things, different medications that we've been using. Um, we've been using that emergency. We've been using ibuprofen to help with feeling better. We've got candles going. We've got um, vitamin C pops. I'll show you those in a few minutes. So those are kind of new to us. Um, of course, mama needs to feel better too. So mama's got her own little drink here. You know, if mamas are taking care of everybody, and I found these little like Dan Active probiotic things um, that I had found months ago. I stuck them in the freezer to preserve them and for just a time as this. And I don't know if they are working well or not, but the kids have definitely enjoyed getting to pull them out and have a little yogurt treat. So I guess that's good. So these, has anybody else used them? What do you think? Do you think they work? I don't know. Um, I picked up a couple of those recently on a shopping trip and kind of put them on the back burner for these sick days and that's what we've pulled out. I have used cold calm in the past but I haven't seen um, a terribly wonderful result from that. I don't know. I don't know guys. Um, what do you guys use? We do prefer homeopathic if we can get that way and of course it is time to make another batch of elderberry. Um, yeah so we had collected these back in the fall and straight off the tree you can see our elderberry has been used up and we picked these off the tree and froze them and i'm so glad i did because now that they're frozen the little berries just pop right off i just shake them off so we're going to make a whole new batch of this um i will actually link this recipe below for you guys so that you can find it as well i have a video that i've done where i have done the whole recipe step by step in the video so that might be helpful but i've linked it a few times if you are also wanting to make homemade elderberry but um i do notice uh, that this helps i use this primarily as a preventative the syrup however when we are sick like today i definitely double or triple um everybody's dose on that and start getting us to feel a little better. So I've got it here 
on the stove. It's gonna cook for a little while and then we're going to get it ready to go. And there we go. That made a good amount. I like to have a little extra that is already in the fridge ready to go for next time. So that is perfect. Um, yay for elderberry. Do you guys use elderberry? Do you like it? Do you do the gummies or the syrup? Um, we have not got done the gummies yet, but I would like to try them someday. So also, I just want to point out, mamas, sick days are not the days to feel bad about TV time, screen time, app time, what have you. Um, I want to encourage you, mamas, that the world's going to tell you something different, but this is a perfect time to um, utilize those devices and um, not only for getting those kids to sit still so their bodies can heal, but also for mom's sanity. So take advantage of that. Despite not feeling 100%, the kids did still want to continue with their Advent um, lessons. So we are working on our Advent house. I have it linked below if you also would like to take part in this, but they did not want to skip out. So um, I think they just wanted to have something to do and it has a lot of crafts and activities included with it. So I think that is why, but I figured why not? So that I pulled out the stuff and here we are keeping track and working hard on our Advent lessons which I do want to point out, do not feel, if you do get behind, do not feel that your Christmas Advent lessons need to end or be completed by Christmas Day. Um, we have been doing a lot of reading and researching about Victorian Christmas. I have a video coming up on that on Friday for Homeschool Fellowship Friday. Look for that. Uh, but I just want to encourage you guys, the Christmas season does not actually have to end on Christmas Day. Um, there's a rush where we feel like we have to get it all done prior to then because that's the big shebang at the end. And that's just not true. So don't worry, guys, if you fall a little short and you push it a little past that, it is totally okay. So how cute are these gingerbread men? My mom actually found these and I think probably at Dollar Tree or someplace and they're just little felt things that the little ones are playing with. These are my four-year-old twins and they're enjoying dressing them up in different ways to just having a good time. I did find some time this week to start working on my cranberry garland. Um, I just got some thread and um, stuck a needle on and have been threading the cranberries, which actually go through much easier than I expected, and have been threading them on the thread to hang up. Um, we, part of our advent, had us putting nay, our, uh, gifts for Jesus and the kids can put them on these cards here so I added that to the garland so we can hang it up and make it beautiful but also meaningful with what the children want to um, give to Jesus this year so some of the examples it had was um, obedience to mommy and daddy or reading their Bible more or being kinder to their siblings things like that but just a way for them to give a gift back I love that idea and one of my daughters got really excited with the Christmas garland and has been making uh, cranberry garland all over the house. So this has been really exciting for us. All right, as a very quick project for myself, I attempted a little wreath um, homemade from boughs that I cut outside. So it did not turn out awfully um, terrible, but it also wasn't that great, but I am pleased with it because it was my very first. So 
um, that is what we've got there. Um, thanks for joining us, guys. It has been, like I said, a weird, crazy, sick week and one that we did not um, get a whole lot of homeschooling done, but we did get a lot of life schooling done. So that also counts. All right, guys, I will see you guys next time for Homeschool Fellowship Friday.